Excuse me a minute. Good afternoon, Grocery Recycling. Metal's five dollars a hundred right now. We're open ten to four Monday through Friday and ten to one on Saturdays. Yes, ma'am. We're four and a half miles from the new Walmart. Thank you. Bye bye. I grew up over in Tassel County in a little town called Red Ash, right beside a railroad track, coal camp. Back when I was growing up, my brothers used to go ginseng hunting, and then they te taught me what it was. You know, I was a tomboy in my family. There was five girls and two boys. I said it was more fun doing what my brothers were doing than doing dishes. <laughs> As kids, we'd be swinging on the grapevines while Dad and them would be out digging herbs and stuff, and you know, we would be playing. I remember coming home and mom washing it and laying it out to dry and or chopping up the cohosh because you have to chop it up and it would be all over the top of the house and then you'd have to watch for it to start clouding up, you know, so you'd have to run out there and cover it up. <laughs> uh, you know, it taught us that you can make a living, you can survive out here on what's on the land, you know. When they come in from different areas, I can tell, you know, like this looks like Smith County saying or you know, because I've seen so much of it, or you know, and I can tell different areas. And when you get down, down toward close to Tennessee line, your ginseng starts getting bony looking. It doesn't have as much character, you know, to where you can see all these lines and everything. Because in, up in the Appalachians, you got all these black dirt, and, and it grows the best stuff. <laughs> it does. It is man's, man's business. It is a man's world when it comes to this kind of stuff. In, in recycling period. When I first opened and the guys would start coming in here and, and they saw that I was willing to work this hard and do this, it earned a lot of them's respect. You know, I, I've told them many of them, I don't know how you talk to women where you're from, but you're not gonna talk to me that way because I earned the respect. And I said, and I'm gonna get it. If you don't wanna give it to me, there's the door. You know, they learned from me. They've learned a lot from me when it comes to the ginseng. And I've got books here that I get out all the time because somebody will say, well, what does that look like? What does that look like? You know, and you know, there's your blood root. Golden seal, this is what your black cohosh looks like. Getting to know your customers and you know, they become family. They, you know, you get close to them. And no, I don't see men doing that, helping them out as far as caring about them. If they need food or stuff or they need something, you know, I, I figure that's why the good Lord blesses me. It's really, it's passing it down. It needs to be passed down because there's not very many young people that does it. I mean, it needs to be taught. We gotta have it in these medicines and it needs to be preserved, it needs to be taken care of, it needs to be treated the way it's supposed to be treated. And it's so good for us. I'll, a lot of times I'll buy some that's green and there might be a few young ones in there that I can't sell, so I eat them. <laughs> and it gives me energy, you know. But as long as they do it by the law, if they wait till the berries are ripened, till the season is ripe, and do it the way it's required, it will always be here for futures to come. <laughs>